Microwaves are also sensitive to the amount of water in the soil. This is very important information for agriculture. Excessively wet soils, excessively dry soils, or flooding of agricultural fields can reduce crop productivity. Monitoring from space can help the agriculture sector to proactively mitigate risk and deliver services more quickly and efficiently. Standing water on the soil acts like a smooth specular reflector, causing most of the incident energy to scatter away from the sensor. These flooded areas appear dark on the radar image. However, as the amount of water in the soil increases and soils get wetter, the backscatter increases and wetter soils appear brighter on the SAR image. But why? To understand that, we need to consider the water molecule, and I have a model of a water molecule here. Water is a dipole molecule. The oxygen side of the molecule carries a net negative charge, while the two hydrogen atoms have a net positive electrical charge. In the absence of an electrical field, water molecules are typically randomly oriented in the soil. But when an electric field is applied, like a SAR microwave, the water molecule will align with the electric field, positive to negative. Energy is stored in this rotation. But microwaves are periodic, and when the electric field passes, the molecule relaxes from this alignment, and most of that stored energy is released. If there's a lot of water in the soil, there are many, many of these water molecules to align and store energy and more energy to release and scatter back to the SAR sensor. The result is higher backscatter intensity and brighter pixels for wetter soils. We use the dielectric constant to measure the amount of potential energy stored under the application of an electric field relative to free space. As the number of water molecules increase in a soil, greater amounts of energy is stored, then released, and the dielectric constant increases. In the field, there are many ways to measure soil moisture. Sometimes we take physical samples of a known volume and then dry the sample to determine the amount of volumetric soil moisture. Often we use probes, such as this impedance probe. In this particular probe, it transmits a 100 megahertz waveform into the soil, measuring the voltage that returns from the soil. And we relate that received signal to the dielectric constant. Although these in-situ probes operate at much different frequencies, the measurement principle is similar to SAR sensors.